Well, hello, hello, all my amazing Libra friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing our daily or our tarot for today. All right. Now, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family. All right. Now, there are two things I should share with you. First of all, there's background noise. My husband's playing a video game. My kid's yelling at his phone. So I apologize for that in advance. And second, I already pre-shuffled your cards, our cards, basically. And so with that, yes, I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> oh, you are too? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, anyway, I have three piles, past, present, future energies. And then I've got three clarifiers per card, and I've got them in order here. So are you ready? Let's get going, huh? All right, my beautiful Libras. Your past energy is the Four of Wands, which signifies reward, prosperity, and celebrations. Take a load off, my friend. The Four of Wands gives you permission to attend a celebration with family and friends, or invade a cerebella, or a cerebra. <laughs> wow, you think Mercury Retrograde hasn't left yet, but it's been gone for a while. Okay or invade a celebration and eat your family and friends. The plans that you've made are set in motion. This is a time to rest up for the challenges ahead. Whew, what a pain in the ass, huh? Just kidding, we were having fun back then, huh? Our first clarifier is the Ace of Hazards. Look at that hand, isn't it beautiful? Look at those beautiful fingernails. The Ace of Hazards, um, the clear. The significancies of this is its possibilities, financial rewards, and new beginnings. That's So the Ace of Hazards, Libra, symbolizes fresh starts and new opportunities and the need for a plan to make the most of them. This Ace recognizes the hard work that got you to this point and gives you an extra hand to assist you with the next step in your much march toward global domination. Now think of this card as a high five from the undead. So we're doing awesome, huh? We did really good. Second clarifier, justice. Oh man, we might have not gotten apologies, but we sure as hell got our justice so far, and it's going great, isn't it? This card signifies impartiality, fairness, and equality. Now, an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth takes on an entirely new meaning in the midst of a human zombie war. Thankfully, you can count on justice to right the wrongs, restore harmony, and offer a karmic slap to the back of the head of those who deserve it. Now fight the good fight and don't be on the side, other end of that slap, okay? And we know a lot of people who deserve that slap, but we have better things to do than worry about them stupid people, right? Yeah. Your third clarifier is the Three of Cups. Celebration, partnership, and good times. Now my beautiful Leapers, do you take this zombie to be your lawfully wedded spouse? Well, why not? Why not? The Three of Cups signals a time of creation, the joining of two misfits in a weird zombie human union through a wedding, birth, or a new partnership. Don't let the criticism or judgment of others interfere with your happiness. Revel in the good times while you can. So we are, or we were, right? It was, it was fun. We've come a long way since, since the bullshit between 2018 and 2019, huh? Now, the present energy, wait, before we get to the present energy, Let's look at this real quick. Recap. Um, we celebrated. We gained a lot of new beginnings, possibilities, and financial rewards. We were we were dealing, you know, with our own energy, dealing with equality, seeking out justice, and celebrating again for the good times, and maybe creating something, having a baby, getting married, project. All right. Let's discuss our present energy. The Four of Cups. Boredom, dissatisfaction, and weariness. Oh, we're getting tired, aren't we? We're just whew, one ball of energy that's fizzling out slowly. Sure, being a zombie seems exciting. Who doesn't enjoy sending crowds of people fleeing on and screaming in terror? Yet there are m moments when, you, when you're likely to experience boredom, melancholy, and anew. When that happens, look for opportunities to rejuvenate yourself. A little fresh blood may be just the thing to get, you know, you chasing those kids on the playground again. So we've been kind of mellowing out, right? We're a little tired with the temporary chaos raining around us, you know. We're just trying to keep our energy up. Like, I do 12 videos a day 
for for horoscopes, right? That's 12 signs, one per sign. Not to mention on Mondays you get your weeklies, weekly romanticoscopes, and your Real daily. And if that falls, that Monday falls onto a the first, then you get an extra two in your monthly sex scope for the next month, and or that month, and your uh, monthly horoscope. So it's like a crap ton of videos. Not to mention, you know, dream meetings. So we've been working our asses off. All right. So our first clarifier is the six of cups. I mean hazards. I'm tired. It's hazards. Ignore my tiredness. Alright. This card signifies generosity, favors, and rewards. Gifts are coming your way, but be wary of any strings that might be attached. Someone may be trying to buy your love or allegiance. Read the fine print before accepting assistance from others. Are they looking out for your own interests, or do they expect something in return? Hmm. I don't know. Be careful. I'm, I know I am. Okay, your next card, or your second clarifier for that one energy, is the Eight of Hazards. Invention, ingenuity, and new approach. Now, my beautiful Libras, the Eight of Hazards demonstrates the need to think outside the pressurized expansion take. tank. If a current endeavor is failing or stalling, try rewiring the brain to explore new possibilities and different angles. Don't return to the same tactics over and over. You need to put your talents and imagination to better use. So you've got a project you're doing, right? Yeah, me too. I'm in the middle of transferring all my books into audio, visual, and throwing them on YouTube. So that's what I do besides this. And writing. Anyway, and start my own business. We're, we're busy bees. You see what I'm saying? Now, the third clarifier is the seven of hazards. Yep, that there is a seven. I don't know if you can see, it's very glary. Kind of reminds me of that zombie movie where the guy starts, the zombie starts becoming smart. And it's an old movie. Anyway, the clarifier, or patience and gain and progress are what signify this card. The test subjects are improving and your persistence will soon pay off. This current endeavor is still in progress, but you're pleased with the results so far. The only thing left to do is wait and keep the doors bolted. Through careful planning, you'll soon reach the light at the end of the tunnel. So there's, you know, a bunch of shit going on, but we're progressing in, in what we're doing. Now, let's recap the present energy real quick before we go to future. Okay, we're bored. Oh God, we're bored. We're feeling weary and tired, but we're still being very generous and do, or, you know, getting generous favors and rewards, but we're not sure if we should accept them. You know, being as there might be a string attached, you know. Um, we're being very inventive and we're doing our stuff in a new approach. And the patience for the progress, you know, we're gaining progress. Does that make sense? Alright. Now let's talk about our future, which I'm not very happy with. I just keep... I, I don't know if you Libras have watched other Libra um, readings, but it's all the same for the last, like, six months, I swear. You ready for it? Yeah. Do you see this card, the Six of Cups? Nostalgia, memories, and old flames. Oh yes. I hate this card. <laughs> ah, the carefree days of childhood. No zombie plagues, no hiding in abandoned houses, and your best friend was always at your side. Well, there's good news. Someone from your past may soon arrive for a visit. Just don't mistake a friendly kiss on the cheek for a zombie gnawing off your face. So, I mean, I don't fully hate this card, I just dislike it because I get tired of hearing about the past lover coming back. But, you know, the good thing about it is that it could be a friend that you haven't talked to in a long time or it could be um, a family member as well that you haven't talked to. So you're kind of going down memory lane, just like me. Your first clarifier is the Six of Swords. Yeah. This is the card we all want to escape to, right? Six of Swords, travel, leaving the past behind and transition. Now, you've done all you can here and it's time to escape to a more peaceful environment. The zombies in your wake represent the scars that hide just beneath the watery surface of your subconscious. Let them heal 
and they can't hurt you anymore. So, I mean, you got someone coming and you've got to make a big decision. What? Your second clarifier is the devil. Temptation, excess, and self-destruction. Now, in a world turned upside down, no one will blame you for indulging in a couple of vices. In fact, that's exactly what the devil wants you to do. Why bother to restore law and order when you can unwind with a few smokes? Why rescue children from orphanages when it's easier to kick back with a pint of whiskey? Well, the answer to both questions is the same. It's because you are better than that, Libra, all right? Now, your third and final clarifier, are you ready for this, is the Ace of Wands. New tasks, motivation, and energy. You've got an extra jiggle... You've got an energy, you've got energy and extra jiggle in your step and it's got nothing to do with the rapidly decomposing muscles in your leg. The suit of wands overflows with creative energy. Tap into this new cycle by looking for opportunities in financial and creative endeavors. This is a chance to shine. Well, I know that a lot of people who do terrace, they always signify this as the Mount Phallic. So, I mean, take it or leave it. I don't, I don't see it as such. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's recap the, the future and then we will do a recap of the whole thing, all right? Now my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Someone's coming back. You wanna just leave the past behind. You don't wanna deal with it. You're, just, you're ready to just close that door, but there's, you know, vices, you know, temptation, it's tempting you. It's not very good energy, you know? And it could lead to yours and my self-destruction. But ultimately, we will gain new tasks, motivation, and energy after all that is said and done. Okay, so let's do a full recap. Bum, 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 bum. Our past, you know, we grew, we celebrated, um, we got financial rewards and new beginnings. But, you know, the ju justice came in right. We got what we deserved, and what we, you know, we deserve the best. And we celebrated and created good times. Currently, we were bored out of our mind, dissatisfied and a little bit tired because we've been going nonstop like robots. Um, we're very generous, but we've also gotten generous favors. We're starting to go into something at a new approach and invent, and we're very ingenuity, right? We've got patience and we've been watching the progress, you know, gain further down the line but at the same time you know in the future which is not set in stone okay we can change it at any time that there is someone coming back from the past and we can't avoid that you know if that person would just come and go then we wouldn't have to hear constantly someone's coming back from our past but that person hasn't shown up yet right once they do you know we're gonna be wanting to leave the past behind and move on but you know he's got that person's got this this devil energy on them, right? They're very tempting, you know? It's nice to look over at someone else's lawn and assume that it's really great because it looks like the grass is greener, but once you get over there, it all disintegrates, turns black and nothing. And you're like, wow, why'd I come over here? You know, you're going to be crying. But we overcome that, and we start a new cycle where we're continuing with this unbridled energy and, and passion to keep ourselves motivated and get shit handled because that's ultimately what we all want, right? We're sick of the drama. We just, we want to do for us for once, right? Now, I hope that this helps. I love you. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share, and join me again for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope, okay? Bye. <laughs>